In this video, we show how adjoint situations are preserved when passing to functor categories. Recall a functor G induces a pre-composition functor G upper star from the functor category B to E to the functor category A to E for each category E. And this functor takes a natural transformation beta to beta G. We have if FG is in a joint situation, then G upper star, F upper star is in a joint situation for each category E. We define the unit, eta upper star, on component Q to be Q eta. So for example, if G is a B morphism, we see that the following commutes by naturality of eta. And if beta is a natural transformation from Q to Q prime, this yellow square commutes by the naturality of beta. Therefore, eta upper star is well defined. Similarly, we define the co-unit, epsilon upper star on component P to be P epsilon. By an analogous argument to eta, we see that epsilon upper star is well defined also. The verification of the triangle identities is straightforward. We have epsilon upper star G upper star Q, G upper star eta upper star Q is equal to epsilon upper star QG, G upper star Q eta by definition of G upper star on the object Q and the definition of eta upper star. And this is equal to QG epsilon Q eta G by definition of G upper star on the morphism Q eta. And then by the triangle identity for FG, we have this equal to the identity on QG, which is the identity on G upper star Q. Similarly, for the other triangle identity, we have F upper star epsilon upper star P, eta upper star F upper star P equal to the identity on F upper star P, which shows that G upper star F upper star is in a joint situation. Now we can prove that given an adjoint situation FG from A to B, we have one, G is full and faithful if and only if for each category E, F upper star is full and faithful. And two, F is full and faithful if and only if for each category E, G upper star is full and faithful. For one, in the forward direction, we have G is full and faithful if and only if the co-unit is an isomorphism. Therefore, epsilon upper star P, defined as P epsilon, is an isomorphism for each component P. Therefore, the co-unit epsilon upper star is an isomorphism, and so F upper star is full and faithful, since it is the adjoint part of the adjoint situation. Conversely, we set the category E to be the category A. Then epsilon upper star on the identity functor on A is equal to epsilon must be an isomorphism. Therefore, G is full and faithful. The second argument is completely analogous, and that completes the proof. Also recall that for functor G, there is a post-composition functor G lower star for each category E, which takes a natural transformation alpha to G alpha. The results above also hold for this situation, namely if FG is in a joint situation for each category E, F lower star G lower star is in a joint situation where the unit is defined on component Q to be eta Q, and the co-unit is defined on component P to be epsilon P. Then the triangle identities follow immediately from the triangle identities for FG, as can be seen here. We also have if FG is in a joint situation, then one, G is full and faithful if and only if for each category E, G lower star is full and faithful, and two, F is full and faithful if and only if for each category E, F lower star is full and faithful. And the proof in this case is absolutely clear.